Yeah. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we do testing. <laughs> Excellent. I want to get the other one working, but I'm, it was working fine last night, of course. Oh, Excellent. But I actually use a magnetometer on it. Yeah. So, oh, okay. I want to get that one working. So we've got some guys brought along a full-size uh, Pie Wars uh, maze, test stuff out on. And then we've got Michael Pie Noon running here. Whoa, somebody won something. Oh, yay. Right. They're um, going to fail miserably now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> and caught on video as well, not bad. <laughs> So you've got like a kind of um, remote control mode and autonomous mode? Yes, this is just in remote control mode at the moment. And the police sensors are then going to be... Um, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> There's a common question, but they are so appallingly inefficient in terms of Hello. The foundation have asked me to take some video that they can use to promote the birthday jams in a, in a month or so. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to tell me about that robot? Is it yours? It's my Mrs. Pie Wars robot. Okay. Um, it is a work in progress. Yeah. Um, we can get about half the challenges done at the moment. Right. Um, 
<laughs> Come in with a key, but it's a lot harder than you think. <laughs> <laughs> and your name, sir, and which team are you from? I'm Neil, and the team is Platinum 9. Right. And whereabouts in the country is that? Is that local to Gloucester? Where, sorry? To that's not local. Not you've local. come a heck of a way today. Away. Thank you very much indeed for making all the effort. <laughs> so you've got on here, we've got ultrasonic distance sensor on the front. Yep, and we're going to have, there's going to be, for the competition, there's going to be two more because um, uh, okay. the, the maze is actually going to need three to get round it. Gotcha. Uh, so they'd be on the on each side or at sort of 45 mounted, degrees? They're going to be mounted here on each side, yeah. um, which we'll do for the straight line test. So yeah. this board will be extended and there'll be two more sitting essentially here. Mm -hmm. Um, camera, um, which is for over the rainbow, it's probably the hardest challenge. And then it's running here, it's basically it's a Pi 3. Yep. Um, it's running a Pi 3 because of OpenCV taking up so much processing power. So originally it had a Pi 0. But so you've un underclocked it or? It's standard. It's box standard, box right? standard, yeah. Yeah, it was only overclocked to low open CV. Yeah. Um, it actually got so hot I had to put it out the window. Um, <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah, out the window it went. <laughs> um, and then um, Explorer hat for multi control. It is um, ubiquitous, a Explorer hat for bots these everywhere. days, isn't it? Yeah, they are wonderful. Um, the LiPo shim or the Zero shim, whichever it's called yeah. now, so it's running off a LiPo battery. Gotcha. Um, and then this is the latest thing I've got, which is um, Ultra Board. Right. Board, um, which basically controls the ultrasonic sensors and the servos, um, but it, it takes away the having to write the software. Oh, okay, so, so it doesn't have to poll it all the time. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. It does it for you, so you can just concentrate on what you actually want it to do when it receives the signal. Yeah, um, rather, so it, yeah. It's it's event driven rather than polling. Yeah, yeah. And, and the code is just way simpler than trying to yeah. have like three, you know, three sensors with... Have you met Andy Baker? Oh, no, he's upstairs doing his tutorial. No, this yeah. is the man who tried to write um, an autonomous drone in Python. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do that. That was, that's, a, that's, a, there's real time and there's real time, isn't yeah, there? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, cheers. Thanks. Okay. Hello. The foundation have asked me to take some video that they can use ah, to promote the birthday bash. Yes. Have you got a moment to tell us? Who you are, what you're doing, why you've come all this way to Gloucestershire. <laughs> <laughs> Arr. Right, well, I'm um, part of Kitchen Hatch Base, so um, one of, one of the, uh, the faithful members. <laughs> and I'm here to uh, get my friend into the Raspberry Pi. It's Excellent. Are you nearly converted yet? We've got another, about another hour or so to run, so, you know. Yeah, one over. <laughs> <laughs> and Hitchin Hackspace have bought. I'm sorry I can't tools. do that, Dave. Yeah, we've brought Hal. Yeah. Uh, I'll take that out of the way. Um, we've brought Mr. Bump, which is a, uh, a Omni wheeled robot. Okay. It's uh, all 3D printed, all made. It's called Mr. Wow. Bump because it falls apart and it get, gets hit quite a lot. Okay. Um, we bought our latest rendition of, or uh, version of uh, Tito. This is Tito 3. This is for Pi Wars. Up right. There. Unfortunately, not currently working, but... Uh, so, he shortened. seems to have nerf darts in him. Oh, so, yes. uh, very much the wars element of Pi very Wars. Much. So, this is a nerf strife firing mechanism, and that's the nerf um, strife magazine. That's yeah. what I've kept, and I've taken everything else away, 3D printed out a, um, a, a magazine holster and put some magnets on it, so it clicks Locks in into place, yeah. So that it's Nice and secure, not going to fall out. Got a servo on here, which will push the darts through. Oh, so I'm with you, yeah. That's a little cam that pushes in. We have another servo on here, which is a uh, turret, basically. So this will then clip on. Okay, here. and that aims. So that will then bolt on to the front here or somewhere at some point. So then we can then turn the uh, the entire turret. Fantastic. So that's, that's where we got to that now one. I've noticed that all the Pi Wars people seem to use. Pi threes rather than Pi zeros. Is that because of the autonomous nature? You need the extra processing. No, it's not. No, no, okay. No. Um, we used a Pi zero last year. Right. Um, we've moved to a Pi three this year because the latest um, Pi is, is focusing more on uh, vision. So rather oh, okay. than using distance sensors and just line following, they've got uh, a rainbow challenge, which is sort of 
coloured balls in the corners of the big square, and your robot needs to drive to the appropriate coloured ball without touching the walls or touching the ball in a set order, which will obviously be random on the day. So you need to know where the balls are, what they are, and sort of focus. See, I would the fail that as a human because I'm I'm so colour blind. <laughs> you would not believe. So maybe I need a robot like that to help me with my everyday life. Thank you very much indeed for your time. That's okay. Cheers. What else have we got going on here? So we've got some uh, self-guided tutorials. Brilliant. Right, we have got a load of retro gaming going on as well. And it looks like we've got a father and son team ruling Minecraft here as well. Hello. Why is mine gone all grey? Am I in the water or something? <laughs> <laughs>